30s to the 40s today for the Deer Gun Opener as well as for high school football. Uh, we go into Veterans Day and we go into our Sunday. Well, that's where we're checking it out in those 40s and in the 50s where we are keeping it on the sunny side as well. So more and more of that snow is melting. Still a little bit left of it too, by the way, in the western half of the state. But in the meantime, let's bring out that upper level pattern because we are still in that cooler air right now. But as we keep going further into our weekend and especially next week, we're going to take those arrows and move them to our north. So that is the bump in our temperature trend that we will be seeing. That's going to amplify our ridge. So when we break down our 10 day temperature trend, I mean, look at this. Our normal high right now should be just about 40 degrees, maybe 41, 42. So we're there the next couple, but then look where we're at for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And we're in the 50s and I think we could still stretch that potentially into our Thursday and Friday and then we might still see those temperatures on the bump down. But let's break it down day by day here. So today there's football in Fargo going on right now. 35 degrees, uh, mostly cloudy skies there unless you're in the western central region of the state we are bringing in the sunshine there. Eventually I think we'll see more sun there for the seven o'clock hour at 33, but overall good weather no matter where you at, are at. So 37 for a high in Fargo, 40 degrees in Bismarck, 43 in Sydney, Montana. We have the mostly sunny skies. We go to tonight, really not much to it. We're gonna keep it relatively clear. Those temps will be in the lower to mid twenties. And then we keep going for that number as we go into our Saturday. 43 for us in Bismarck, 43 in Minot on Saturday to 50 degrees in Dickinson, 46 in Williston. But notice how it is warmer in the west than it is in the middle of the state. That is because we're getting ready for our ridge building. We're getting ready for a warm front building. But that warm front is also attached with a low pressure system to our north. So that is where we're going to bring in some winds now as we go into our Sunday. So Sunday will have 40 mile per hour wind gusts, but those highs at least are in the mid 50s and we keep it sunny. So it'll feel good. Get some vitamin D on your face. But once we go through our Sunday time frame, so here's the snapshot what the atmosphere will look like once we go into our Saturday night through Sunday morning. That front is moving through our winds. Well, they're pushing up and getting stronger. We could see the lines of equal pressure. There's about three or four of them across the state. So the more there are, the windier it will be. And that's where we're going to trail forward with a 40 mile per hour wind gust. And that will pretty much peak, not in the morning hours, but right around noon to three, four o'clock in the afternoon. And it doesn't matter where you are across the state. That's what we're going to be seeing for everywhere. Now, as far as, far as that goes, today does kick off the deer gun opener high school football and Veterans Day all weekend long, no matter what you are doing, uh, pretty much good weather except Krista on Sunday with those winds. That's pretty much the only big weather event that we have for the next seven days.